Okay, Jared, so OAC Divisional State, uh, this is this event's grown, but you split the event. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me about splitting the event and tell me what, what the concept behind Divisional State is. So Divisional State's like the high school state tournament where you have your big school, middle school, and small school. So this is the third year for it. First year is all at Marysville. Uh, first year was junior high and Division four or your sixth grade. Uh, and this last year was we added a fourth grade under, then this year's second grade under. Um, <clears throat> So this should be split, actually put the single A, which is the small schools, over at Hilliard Darby, and then your triple A and double A here at Marysville. Last year was just crazy, crazy crowded here. We had 10 mats going a lot, you know, 700 something wrestlers at one facility it gets crazy. So we split it this year. Uh, concept, you know, answer your question about concept, just like high school state, you know, you're not, then you're not wrestling the same weekend, uh, same kids each weekend, and you're you know, you know the districts and the state tournament going to be really competitive. This kind of changes up a little bit. You know, a little different atmosphere as far as you know the heated matches and things like that. There's still good matches. You know, they, you know, saw some guys in there. They had three guys from their state bracket here. They had three. You know, there was two other state places from the bracket last year here. So there's still good matches. It's not, you know, it's crazy, crazy deep weight classes. So. From 88 to 89, Ohio went from single A, double A, triple A, and OHSAA. Mm -hmm. So triple A was the big school, double A was the Baseball. middle, single exactly. A, yeah, yeah and kinda, single A was the, yeah. Throwback to that Small division. Terminology, you yeah. would have been a four-time state champion single A. Single A, right, right? right. But it was division three then, Correct. right? So all you did is you took the old system from OHSAA. Okay, so when you look at it, uh, the success of the event and the growth. How has it gone from last year to this year to when you even started at three years in your third year, right? right? Yeah, we've had, like I said, divisions. Um, obviously, you know, Sean Andrews and the Marysville crew, they, they are outstanding. You know, it takes a group of people to put this size of event on. Um, so, you know, not only from, you know, a participant, you know, number thing, but as far as the quality of the event, you know, we're live streaming it uh, this year uh, at both sites. Um, you know, just the, the quality of that, the level of that, you know, we're getting kids from all over the state here for this weekend. Um, we actually moved it up a couple weeks uh, also this year, so that was a change. Uh, you know, mid-February instead of in March, you know, away from the traditional, you know, state tournament date. Um, but, you know, you know, we're looking forward to making some changes next year, so we want to hear what people want, you know, for next year. Um, but it's really off to a great start after three years, and, you know, talking to people. They love the concept. Like, hey, we brought our whole club here, whereas, you know, maybe a district tournament, they're only bringing a select few guys or the sectionals or whatever age level, you know, they're going to. So, um, you know, and it breaks up the junior high district level uh, this year. We had junior high districts last weekend, and we'll have some next weekend. So, it gives those guys that just finished the conference tournament at the junior high level, you know, another week of, you know, to compete and wrestle with their, you know, with their club or their team, you know, another weekend to, to practice or whatever. Maybe. Okay, I just talked to Guy Seiko. You got defense so West Shore. He's got a great club. Yeah, Let's just mention his club first, right? He's got West Shore, one of the best clubs in Ohio. And then, you know, defense soap. I see that the wipes are on every oh, mat. Yep, yep. You see Barbarian Apparel on yeah, your chest yeah. there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I here. see here. Schmitty's. Yeah, those yeah, are nice. Yeah. I don't have one of those. Yeah. And then we got Schmitty's Corner Rugs. He's got the rectangle rugs here. Mm -hmm. He's doing a pretty good job protecting the mats. But your partnerships, you're always growing partnerships. Right, right. Will those continue to grow? And do we see oh, any new yeah. partners coming in? Heck yeah, they, I mean, uh, you know, Guy and Josh and Smitty. I mean, that's, you know, we've been working with them for years now, and, it, and it's such an awesome, you know, tight network of people that's been awesome to work with. And, you know, you, when you work with wrestlers, you know what you're going to get. And, um, you know, it's exciting. You know, we're, you know, like I said, adding events each year, you know, with the, the sections this year. And, you know, Guy made sure he had, you know, wipes. He made sure he had wipes at each table of each tournament. And, you know, you know, next couple of weeks, you know, same thing. You know, it's uh, what would the big jugs, you know, the big ones, you know, people want them. You put the little, little the gallon pail, yeah, the pail, right? It's or a you, pail, yeah. it's 400 yeah, count, yeah, yeah. So, uh, it's kind of cool, like, you know, we can make sure every event's clean, you know, because you got to think, you know, these kids are wrestling here, if they get something here, they can like the club and they come back to the district next weekend, you know, and then you just it gets out of hand quick. So, if we keep them clean here, it just helps down the road kids from scratching at our future events too so. events moving forward what do you guys have left on the slate for oec i know there's is there duels what, what do we have going on so, uh, second weekend in junior high districts is next weekend the last grade school sectional uh at studentville next saturday you know we'll have three more grade school uh, districts left um and then we have junior high state duels it's gonna be an awesome event really awesome event. where at it's at one page of berlin uh that's a new one new, new school the newest yeah so we'll have 24 teams there 
I mean, it's going to be it's you know all your top level schools there, and we got some awesome D three schools. Uh, Lakota's in this year, your old stomping grounds. Right? Yeah, uh, they're in it this year. Uh, you know, they're bringing some guys on with D three. They got a solid junior high program, but there's eight teams in each division. You know, division one, two, and three. There, it's going to be a really good event. So. Um, we're looking forward to that, and then obviously into our state tournaments, the junior high state, freshman state, girl state weekend. It's the weekend after high school state, and the weekend after that is grade school. And then a new event this summer. You know, we've traditionally stuck with this between the season, of, you know, November to March, but this year we're doing a uh, OAC Cedar Point Duels, the new Cedar Point Center Sports Center. Uh, they have 10 NBA size uh, basketball courts. So we got to have a lot of teams express interest in that. So it's going to be you know, a national style dual tournament, uh, youth, middle school, high school, girls and boys uh, divisions. So. And it's at Cedar Point. It's uh, under a mile from Cedar Point. Where you were at the football. Under a mile from Cedar Point. Right, right next door to the football. Directly next to the cause, directly, causeway. Directly next so there, to the So there are going to be some Cedar Point, Cedar Point vacation integrated into that as well if families yeah, want each to. Each participant gets a five day Cedar Point match. Are you so, joking? So you compete Saturday. If you go Sunday, you can go. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it's a party. So, um, yeah. once, You're you start, once you use that. You're a genius. Well, not, that's their facility. That's, that's, that's Cedar Point's deal. So, um, you know, it's going to be the first. We just had a duel there uh, this past Wednesday, but they'll be the first large-scale duel to have there. Awesome. You got anything else for me? No, thanks. I can't wait. I got to get like an apple or something. I can't wait. Yeah, let me know what you need. I, I got to get something to eat here. I'm getting irritated hobby. talking to you right now. No, <laughs> You're, such no, no, You're such a genius. You're such a genius, and I didn't think of that. Yeah. I didn't think of that. Okay. You got anything else for me, buddy? No, thanks for coming to St. Duels. I get to watch it when I get home tonight. You know, it's kind of nice. I mean, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we're heading over. We're heading, we're heading there, right? I'm going to be stuck here. Yep. Up, all that stuff, and I get to go home and watch all that stuff. So I appreciate all you do. Hey, thank you for the time. Yeah, thanks. We will see you uh, at both OACs. Mm -hmm. Gonna have to do some magic from Minnesota. Do, I've, I've seen you do bigger magic. But yeah, you're in Minnesota and all of a sudden in Youngstown, right? We'll make it happen, all right? All right. Thanks, Jared.